Justin Verlander held a workout today to a reported 15 to 20 teams, according to Joel Sherman. The word is he threw about 25 pitches and was clocked between 94 to 97 miles an hour. Where is he going? Comment below and let me know what you think and do you want your team to get him? If you do, hit that like. Justin Verlander was out in 2021 and only started one game in 2020. So what teams can expect from him in 2022 is anyone's guess. He has received the qualifying offer from the Astros for $18.4 million next season, but he's obviously looking to see if he can get more before the qualifying offer deadline of November 17th. At his peak, Verlander was one of the best pitchers in baseball. In his last full season of 2019, he went 21-6 and for the 2.58 and earned the AL Cy Young Award. We've got two questions to try to answer in this video. How much could he get? And where might he wind up? Well, Andrew Haney just got $8.5 million from the Dodgers. And at the very least, he's got an $18.4 million offer on the table from the Astros. And for a reference point, there are only 11 pitchers scheduled to make more than $20 million. And SpotTrack projects Kershaw, Scherzer, Rodon, Gosman, and Stroman could get offers, could get deals to take them into that $20 million range. Now, with all of that in mind, I think we can target $25 million to be right around what Verlander could get in 2022. Now, where might he wind up? At this point in his career, he should only be interested in playing somewhere that has a chance to win the World Series. Money is a factor. If a team is not known for doling out big contracts, we can eliminate them. And if a team is already due to spend a ton in 2022, we can rule them out as well. So teams that are in that right spot financially and trying to win. One team that has been appearing a lot in my chat rooms and community pages are the Detroit Tigers, a reunion with his first team. As nice as that sounds, I think it's a long shot. The Tigers aren't going to be in the mix to win a title in 2022, though they'll be better and the window for them to compete is opening. That's all it is. It's just opening. So the timing isn't right for Verlander. Dumping $25 million on him for this season could hurt their chances of improving their team in other ways. So let's get to who my finalists are. I think the Yankees, the Red Sox, the Blue Jays, the Astros, the Phillies, and the Giants are my six. They're all going to be trying to win a championship in 2022, and they could all justify the $25 million for the year in different ways, especially just a one-year deal. They'll all be in the mix, so that works for Verlander. In the end, I think Justin Verlander goes to the, drumroll please, New York Yankees. They get the $11 million back with Kluber coming off the books and they reunite him with Garrett Cole to make a run. If I were to rank the six in order of least likely to most likely to get him, it'd go this way. Number six, the Blue Jays, five Red Sox, four Phillies, three Giants, two Astros, and one Yankees. What do you think? Where do you think he goes? Comment below and let me know. And make sure to check out some of my other free agent content here now. I will add links. Thank you for spending some time with the channel. And thank you for watching the video.